Hi, Adidas here. In today's video, we're going to learn how to change the RD2000's programs via Apple MainStage. All right, let's get started. So in a previous video, we demonstrated how to control MainStage via the RD2000 and the USB audio and MIDI. But it's come to our attention that some of you would rather control the RD2000 via MainStage. So let's learn how to do it. So we have MainStage opened up. I'm going to select this concert the keyboard and make sure my audio output is set for RD2000. Let's go ahead and choose that. Okay, this is great right here. So now what I'll, I'll probably go ahead and do for this example is I'm going to get rid of this particular patch that's in that concert and I might go ahead and add a new patch. I'm going to call this patch RD2000 Program Control. And I'm going to use this particular patch as my template for changing programs in the RD2000 via the main stage. So I went ahead and named it. Now let's set up main stage to communicate with the RD2000. So I'm going to go into here and use the plus button. And I'm going to choose external MIDI. Now input means if there's any audio. We don't have any audio coming in. Everything's running via USB. So we don't want to have that or you could experience some kind of crazy feedback thing. So don't even mess with that. On the output channel output, notice here are all of our MIDI channels that are available in the RD2000. The RD2000 allows you to switch programs via MIDI channel 16. I'll show you that in one second. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose MIDI channel 16. And I'm just going to do just one number of channels, just one. And let's go ahead and create. Now let me show you what I was talking about earlier. In the RD2000, if you press menu, we'll go ahead and press enter on system. Once we're in the system tab, we're going to cursor down and we're going to take a look. And we see right here it says program control channel. Now it's set default to 16 and I suggest you leave it there, but you do have the option to change it. So MIDI channel 16 is what the RD2000 is going to respond to. And that's what we have main stage set to transmit. To. Ooh, so let's exit here. Okay, we're all set to go. So here we go. Let's go ahead and see what we have. We have on main stage the MIDI output. That's what it is, MIDI output. And see the MIDI channel is set to 16. That's exactly what we want. Now I'm going to go ahead I'm going to select this strip right here and now I'm going to use the arrows, go to MIDI output and I'm going to say send program change, send bank select right here. All right, so now I need to get the MSB, LSB and program change numbers. Let's do that now. So I went to Roland's website and I downloaded the sound list for the RD2000. So if we take a closer look at the sound list, we'll, we'll see all of the different MIDI information that we need. We see the program list and we'll see the tones. Now don't get tones and programs confused. A tone is just one sound. A program can have up to eight tones within it. So don't use these numbers yet. We're gonna cursor down. Now we're gonna to get to the program list right here. Perfect. Okay, so these are the numbers we're gonna to need to put inside main stage so that way main stage can communicate to the RD2000 and change programs. So let's go ahead and do this one, this A10. And the numbers we need right here are 84, 64, and 10. So let's remember that number, 84, 64, and 10. So here we go, 84 on bank select, 64, and 10. And if you check out my RD, main states communicated the exact program it wanted to go to. Great, so now let's do another one. Now I'm gonna keep this first patch I might go ahead and name this, let's go ahead and duplicate it. And I'm gonna name this one right here. I'm gonna call this one uh, A10. So I know, and 1975 EP burner. Great, and I'm gonna use that first one. I'm gonna call this, uh, let's just keep this one at, as a template. All right, so I'll, I'll go ahead and pull it down in the concert, all right? And let's go ahead and do another one. So I'm going to duplicate my template. Right click, duplicate it. Great. I'm going to move it up here. And let's do another one. I'm going to go back to my, my sound list. And let's choose another one. Let's choose this one. Isn't she? So 84, 64, 61. All right. So once again, 
choose on that channel strip 84 64 61 great now if we take a look we can see that Apple main stage already communicated the program change to the RD2000 let's go ahead and name this patch as well and we'll call this DO1 and I'm I'm naming them the name of the program just so uh, you don't forget so I don't forget so this could be really a great way to move around if, if you didn't want to have the RD as the master and you wanted to keep the computer as the master you could totally do that so that's that's a, just another option uh, for your performance great now we have our template let's go ahead and duplicate it again and let's do one more okay so I'm gonna to go to that channel strip let's go ahead and flip back over let's choose something else here we go, which on Milky Way. So 84, 65, 76. 84, 65, 76. Watch the RD. There it is. All right, now let's name it. We'll name this one K04, which of Milky Way. Now let's go ahead and change patches inside main stage and watch the RD to see if it responds. So I go to the first one, great, next one, and the next one. Now here's something that's really neat by doing this if you choose to do this way. If you wanted to use that, uh, that last program we did, the K04, Witch of Milky Way, I can actually grab it in main stage and rearrange it. Maybe I want to put that EP burner at the end. So now look what we did. As you can see, now we're able to move around our programs in any order we want within main stage, within our concert, and access them in any way we want as well. So you can adjust your playlist live if you needed to. You can change the program order as your song list dictates. So that could be really neat. And then once I'm done, I would probably go into here and save. And now I would go into this concert and save it as RD2000 Programs. There we go, save it in main stage. So that way, whenever I open up my main stage, it is an option for me. So as you can see, it can be very easy to have main stage change your programs within the RD2000. Some of the benefits could be you can arrange your programs in any way you want according to your song list for your performance. All right, I hope this helps you out. You guys take care, and we'll talk to you later.